Australian families aren't the only ones being stung at the checkout. Suppliers say they are too. And a voluntary code of conduct currently in force is doing very little to hold the supermarkets to account. It's like having a speed limit of 80 kilometres an hour, but if you do 100, that's OK because there's no penalties. You know, the defining motivation behind this is a fair go for farmers and families. The inquiry's early recommendations calling for legal protections for suppliers fearing retribution if they speak out about supermarket behaviour and new avenues for them to complain to the competition watchdog. The supermarkets could also face massive court-imposed penalties if found in breach of the code, potentially up to 10% of their yearly turnover which for the major players would amount to billions of dollars in fines. We support those in principle. Something the former Labor Minister left on the shelf, laws to break up the big supermarkets if they're found to be ripping off suppliers and customers. It's like saying, we're going to threaten you with thermonuclear war, and they go, oh, I don't think that's going to happen. The most vocal supporters of such sweeping powers insisting it's the only remedy. Dr Emerson's recommendations are applying a band-aid to a gaping wound. And if the supermarkets aren't doing anything wrong, they shouldn't fear anything. It'll never be used. The federal opposition insisting the inquiry didn't go far enough and was stitched up to suit the government's position. I think this is a Mickey Mouse review that's been conducted by a Labor mate with an outcome predetermined by the Treasurer. Woolworths wants any mandatory code applied to other competitors, big international players like Amazon and Costco, as well as local retailers such as Bunnings and Chemist Warehouse, a position shared by Coles. Like with every pre-budget announcement, the government presents supermarket competition as a cost of living measure, giving Australian families a fair go. But it's not even attempting to quantify how much better off customers will be under a code of conduct. It tried that once before on energy prices from opposition, and it hasn't lived it down since. Matthew Doran, ABC News, Canberra.